This position is tricky. It repeats in similar variations with a very high kiss risk and various ways to play it. But which variation is the best and where does the kiss lurk? That's the theme of this week. The position. The position of the white and yellow balls are simple. While yellow is at 20-10, white is about at 10-10. When I see this position I'm always happy, because I think it's easy, but I'm regularly disappointed because I have to skip the point due to a kiss, but today I want to put an end to that. I want to systematically investigate it, therefore I first have to introduce a counting system. I'll explain it briefly here. The point where the white ball meets the short rail is counted as 0, 10, 20. The point where the yellow ball meets the first rail is also counted. The short rail should have negative values and the long rail positive values. When we enter the different routes into the diagram, we get these points. I'm going crazy now and trying to figure out which combination result in a kiss. If I play enough different variations, hopefully a map of the kisses will emerge. From the resulting diagram I see there is a large kiss area that runs diagonally. Both balls run into each other frontally in this area. There is a kiss risk of 70% in both areas. This kiss is probably known to everybody and should be easily avoidable, fingers crossed. The third area is very prone to kisses with 50% risk. The balls meet after the short rail in this area. In this area the kiss risk is still at 40% and should be avoided. With a thin hit of B2 and little spin I find an area with a 20% risk. The risk is lower because several parameters have to be unfavorable simultaneously leading to a rendezvous. The next area has a 20% kiss probability and is a relatively large area where yellow is played very thick. The kiss then comes after the third rail. So how should we play now? I see a very large area with a thin hit that has absolutely no kiss risk. Also, due to the slow yellow ball, there is a good follow-up position. On the one hand, this is very good, but with the thin hit, we incur a very high sensitivity to vertical spin and the impact speed. This will make it more difficult to make the point with the red ball. I'm a big fan of hitting the second ball with half thickness while simultaneously applying topspin to the cue ball. It results in a natural run. This minimizes the error influences on the root of the white ball. If you don't hit too hard and play the yellow ball narrowly to the short rail, you'll also get a very good follow-up position. However, this route is dotted with kisses at almost 6% and potential serious end awaits. But nevertheless I believe it's currently a good alternative for me, since I probably won't achieve a high success rate with the previous route. I hope the video is helpful for you and I'm looking forward to your feedback. Stay strong, stay safe, stay at Night Cafe.